In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MATLAB to construct a scatter plot. Um, as you can see right now, I have my data read in. I'm calling it concrete. And then the, the file that I'm reading in is this journal article concrete. And then you can see that the actual data below, or at least most of the rows of the data. So we have weight is one of the variables and porosity is the other variable. So the function that we're going to use is the scatter plot function. It's just called scatter. And so you can see I typed in scatter. I had called the data set concrete.weight. That's going to be uh, my variable that I'm using. And then concrete.porosity. And then the filled is going to fill in the circles. And then R is the color that we're going to fill those circles. So when we do this, we list the X variable first, and then we list the Y variable next. So I'll go ahead and run this chunk of code. You'll see what this looks like. You can see here's our scatter plot right here. Um, notice I don't have any labels on or anything else. One of the other options that I like to have with the scatter plot is a grid, and the function for this is just simply grid. And then we're going to say on afterwards, and then we'll run this code block right here. And you can see it adds grid lines, which helps make it a little bit easier to read your scatter plot. Now, the only other things that we should really include in this are labels and titles, and we'll go ahead and do those right now. And you can see I type my labels in. Remember, we have to have the labels in either quotations or apostrophes. So the horizontal is going to be weight. The Y label is going to be porosity. And then our title is going to be concrete uh, porosity versus weight. And so when I run this line of code right here, you'll see that it brings it up and attaches it to the scatter plot because these are all labels or other functions that attach to that, that functions related to the scatter plot. And then we get a nice clean scatter plot showing us the porosity and the weight and then allows us to explore the relationship between those two quantitative variables. So hopefully this video shows you how to create a simple scatter plot using MATLAB.